Team Fortress 2 has a wide variety within its arsenal of weapons, anything from a fish to kitten rocket launchers to golden frying pans and everything in between. The diversity of playstyles from weapon set to weapon set allows for TF2's weird and unique moments and contributes to the reasons on why we love this game. I'm Kami to Space Bear, and this is Loadout. Hello and welcome to Loadout. In this series, we take a look at different weapon sets and loadouts and see how they perform on the battlefield. Today's loadout is one for Soldier, that focuses on speed and health gain, and due to my lack of creativity, we're going to end up calling this one the Tank Soldier. Let's go ahead and take a look at the arsenal for today's loadout. For our primary, we're going to be using the Black Box. When using the Black Box, you have the ability to gain up to 20 health per shot at the cost of one less rocket in the clip. Having one less rocket is a major downside, and I personally have found myself in situations where I would have lived if I had that extra rocket. Now, because we have one less rocket in the clip, you would think it'd be a wise choice to take the shotgun as your secondary, this way you have that extra firepower to finish off enemies. And you would be right, that would be a wise choice, but you see, I am not a wise man. So we're going to be taking along the conch instead. With the conch, you fill up the rage meter through doing damage, and when the conch lets out its mighty roar, you and your teammates in the vicinity receive a speed bonus, and damage they do returns health. You also get a passive plus 4 health per second effect just for equipping the item. Now, for our last resort weapon, we'll be taking along the disciplinary action. With this weapon, when you hit a teammate like I'm sure most of us have wanted to do, it gives both you and your teammate a speed boost for a few seconds. At this point I think I've rambled on enough about weapon statistics, let's go ahead and discuss how each of these weapons contributes to the overall theme of the loadout, and how they work together to create a solid effect. The goal of this loadout is to create a soldier that is able to survive longer in more adverse situations than normal through health gain and speed abilities. Basically what that means is we want to gain as much health as possible and have the ability to go sanic fast when it all hits the fan. Each of the three weapons in this loadout contribute to this idea in some way or form. Let's talk about the black box first. This one should be pretty obvious. With the ability to gain up to 20 health per shot, your survivability when playing as a soldier is vastly increased. However, with only three rockets, it is very important to reload as often as possible. Remember, in TF2, you can fire during the reload animation and cancel the animation. You do not have to wait for the animation to complete, so you should always be reloading if you do not have a full clip. Now let's talk about the conch. The purpose of putting the conch in this loadout is for its passive health gain ability along with the ability to gain a speed boost when your rage meter fills up. This weapon's purpose, at least in this loadout, is to allow the soldier to escape situations rather than to sustain a push. We're trying to create a self-sufficient soldier that can withstand adverse situations, and sometimes, the best way to live is to run. Remember, there's no such thing as retreating, only advancing in the wrong direction. Now, the main purpose of the disciplinary action seems to be getting to the front lines as quick as possible according to many people. Theoretically, if your team can get to the center point first in either King of the Hill or Capture Points, the enemy team not only has to deal with your team, but also has to undo the burn time that your team put on the point. And honestly, this weapon serves the same purpose here. The melee slot in this loadout is completely subjective. The escape plan, equalizer, or half Satoichi could easily take the place of the disciplinary action in this loadout. Any of these three weapons could offer a solid alternative to the disciplinary action and all still contribute to the main theme of this loadout. The escape plan is perfect for escaping bad situations, and the equalizer and half Satoichi are perfect last resort fighting weapons. Overall, this loadout creates a soldier that if played right can take more damage because of the health gain of the conch in the black box, and can easily escape bad situations because of either the conch, disciplinary action, or even the escape plan. Now obviously this is only one of the many loadouts that soldier can use, and I'm definitely not saying that this is the best one, I'm simply saying that it's something to consider. Statistically speaking, the stock weapons are always the best choice, and this loadout, like many, relies on specific situations to be effective. This loadout can be completely effective in certain situations and completely useless in others, and you should always choose the right loadout for the situation you're in, even if that means you have to use something other than your prized Aussie, Bot Killer, Strange, or even Unusual weapon. 
I would like to thank all of you that made it this far in the video for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another video soon. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, or if you have any suggestions for loadouts, feel free to leave a comment, or if uh, you got any suggestions for how I can improve these videos, feel free to leave a comment. I would also like to apologize for how long this video took to make. My last video was like a couple weeks ago, and I've been busy with AP testing and finals, stuff like that. But that's all over, so hopefully I can get some more videos out soon. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and expect more videos like this and my best century placements in the near future. Until next time, I'm Communist Space Fair, and hopefully I see you in the next one.